Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa led well wishers to welcome His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan, who arrived in Bahrain yesterday accompanied by His Royal Highness Prince Hashim bin Abdullah II. Also present to welcome the Jordanian monarch were His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work in Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Chairman of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King and the Jordanian monarch were greeted by the Guards of Honor. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held talks at Sakhir Palace with His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Also present were His Royal Highness Prince Hashim bin Abdullah II and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King welcomed the Jordanian monarch and exchanged with him congratulations on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan, praying to Allah the Almighty to bestow upon the two countries and their two brotherly peoples, the Arab and Islamic nations and the world, prosperity, security and peace. Their Majesties also reviewed aspects of the deep-rooted fraternal relations and means of enhancing close bilateral cooperation and constructive joint work in various domains that serve mutual interests. His Majesty affirmed the depth of the Bahraini-Jordanian relations and the constant communication and coordination between the two countries at all levels, praising the honorable stances of Jordan towards Bahrain. The two monarchs expressed pride in the advanced level reached by the historical relations of the two kingdoms and their constant keenness to continue strengthening and developing them in all fields. His Majesty appraised the pivotal and active role played by Jordan under the leadership of His Majesty King Abdullah II in defending the interests of Arab nations and its just issues, especially the Palestinian cause, in advancing the system of joint Arab action. 
Their Majesties also discussed and exchanged views on the latest developments in the Middle East and the latest developments on the regional and international arenas, affirming their support for all efforts aimed at finding permanent solutions to crises in the region to consolidate the foundations of security and stability and achieve development, peace and prosperity. The Jordanian monarch expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm reception and generous hospitality, stressing the pride of Jordan and the firm bonds of brotherhood and the distinguished relations of cooperation with Bahrain. His Majesty the King held an iftar banquet in honor of His Majesty King Abdullah II and the accompanying delegation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa bid farewell to His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan, who was accompanied by His Royal Highness Prince Hashim bin Al Hussein upon departure from the kingdom. His Majesty King Abdullah II was also seen off by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Bahrain and Jordan enjoy a historic fraternal relation based on brotherhood, respect and mutual understanding. The exchange of visits between both leaderships is an affirmation of the depth of relations binding both countries and peoples. More in this report. The deep-rooted fraternal tie that binds the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the strong brotherly relation between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein constitute the cornerstone of the steadfast bilateral cooperation relations between both brotherly countries and peoples. The paralleled visions and keen determination of both leaderships ushered in remarkable achievements and numerous joint accomplishments across all fields. The exchange of high-level visits confirmed the distinguished relation between Bahrain and Jordan and the substantial political, economic and social cooperation between both countries and peoples, making the Bahrain-Jordan relation an example of successful diplomacy and a role model to be emulated. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the majlises of Farooq Yusuf Al Muayyad and the late Ali bin Yusuf Fakhro. His Royal Highness exchanged Ramadan blessings with the hosts and guests of the Majlises. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's wide-ranging achievements attained by Bahraini citizens who continue to be at the heart of the Kingdom's success. His Royal Highness noted that Bahraini citizens remain a source of inspiration, adding that their creativity and innovation are the foundations of the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. 
His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of Ramadan majlises in furthering cultural bonds and preserving traditions across many generations. His Royal Highness affirmed that despite current global challenges, Bahrain is committed to implementing initiatives and projects to deliver sustainable growth and development for current and future generations. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of strengthening public-private partnerships and ensuring that Bahrain remains an ideal destination for investment by adopting legislation that supports a business-friendly environment, which will create promising opportunities for citizens. For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his visit and engagement with Bahrainis in their Ramadan Majlises across the kingdom. The hosts and guests further wished Bahrain progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials. The executive and legislative authorities held their first joint meeting to discuss the draft law supporting the state's general budget for the fiscal years 2023 to 2024. Chaired by the representatives, Council Speaker Ahmed Limsellem, Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh, and the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, in the presence of ministers, both councils, deputies, members of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committees, and officials. Alim Salem affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives and speech during the opening of the first session of the sixth legislative term to continue implementing economic recovery plans and the fiscal balance program and directing their positive impact on the citizens' living standards is a pillar of national action. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in preparing the general budget in which the maintenance of financial stability and positive economic growth, the creation of promising opportunities for citizens, the development of financial and economic support programs and the achievements of a fiscal balance program were taken into consideration. He affirmed the keenness of the legislative authority to prepare the draft law and implementation of the royal directives to reduce economic burdens on citizens and subject all programs to further development. Assal affirmed that discussion sessions and meetings between the two authorities will contribute to formulating a consensual vision on the state's general budget and achieve His Majesty's aspirations to exchange views that lead to the optimal investment of financial resources to implement the initiatives and projects in the government program. He noted the importance of concerted efforts to enhance Bahrain's economic growth and build on the positive results achieved by the fiscal balance program. He noted that the consensus on the state draft a general budget between the legislative and executive authorities will create a plan for all development paths in the kingdom for the next two years. 
For his part, the Deputy Premier affirmed that the draft law embodies the priorities of joint national action. During his speech on the occasion, he conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his wishes of success for the joint meetings. He noted the government's keenness on cooperation with the legislative authority to reach a consensus that achieves growth for the kingdom. He added that the referral of the draft law to the legislative authority comes in line with the national economy's unprecedented positive outcomes. He noted that during the preparation of the draft law, the government has taken into consideration maintaining financial stability and positive economic growth, creating promising opportunities for citizens, and developing financial and economic support programs. For his part, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that the kingdom's interests are a priority in various development paths. The minister also delivered a presentation on the objectives of achieving financial sustainability and the results of implementing the fiscal balance program. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, delivered the detailed data on the draft law approving the state's general budget for the fiscal year 2023 to 2024 to the Legislative Authority during his meeting with the Representatives Council Speaker and Shura Council Chairman in the presence of the Minister of Parliament Affairs, Ghanim Al Buaini. The Minister of Finance affirmed that Bahrain's developmental achievements are based on joint action to prioritize the interests of the country and its people to achieve their aspirations as part of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister highlighted the most important principles taken into account while preparing the draft general budget. He added that the delivered data includes the text of the draft law, the details of public revenues and expenditures during the budget cycle, and the data of direct government support during the aforementioned years. The minister affirmed that the ministry reiterates its endeavor to bolster cooperation with the legislative authority to complete the state budget's project, and noting the importance of unifying efforts to build on current achievements. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman, Ali Saleh. The council discussed the report of the Services Committee on a draft law amended by a number of provisions of Law 18 of 2006 on Social Security, presented by the Council of Representatives. The draft law ensures the swift provision of financial aid and comprehensive social care for those in need. The council made a decision on the final approval of the law. Bahrain joins the world in marking the World Autism Awareness Day, which is observed on April 2nd every year under the theme Transformation Toward a Euro-Inclusive World for All. Marking the occasion, the Minister of Social Development, Osam al Asfour, underlined the importance of people with special needs in the social texture, affirming the government's keenness to provide them with quality services to engage them actively in the community. He also stressed the kingdom's keenness to present a model to emulate in health and social care. The minister noted that the ministry is working on supporting non-government rehabilitation centers that are in charge of providing special services to this category. The chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid El Hajri, announced the completion of the rehabilitation and maintenance of the King Khalid Mosque in Umm al Hassam area and the Halat Bumahir Mosque in Muharraj. This comes in implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to launch a plan to develop places of worship in the kingdom and to open and restore and rehabilitate 30 mosques belonging to the Sunni and Jafari Endowments Directorates. Al Hadri said that the directives of His Royal Highness stem from his keenness to follow up on the needs of citizens. He added that the directorate is exerting all efforts and capabilities to ensure that places of worship in various governorates receive support to enable worshippers to perform their prayers in an atmosphere of tranquility and comfort. 
Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority revealed that the food festival at Marasi El Bahrain attracted 168,000 visitors in two weeks. Bahrain Food Festival was widely praised by the participants, including the owners of restaurants and cafes, as well as by visitors, for the festival's contribution to highlighting the capabilities of the hospitality sector in Bahrain and the various activities it included, in addition to its remarkable contribution to the revitalization of touristic areas in the kingdom. Редактор